Let's see, do I have any dirt? Yes, I do. Alright, that. Uh, no, I need that. Alright, so. Do, 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 dirt. Uh, Although, for that matter, we could use this, too. Well, I don't know if the golems spawn near the structure that counts as housing, or if they spawn um, near the villagers. And the reason I want to build this a little compact... Wait, hold on. Uh, do, 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 no, that's good. Is so that we'll be able to find out which... And... If we can... Uh, I'm sure that we could look it up in a wiki and understand it better almost instantly. But, you know, than we would ever accomplish ourselves. Hmm. But I want to try and learn a golem spawn pattern. What are you doing? I am building a row home. I know from personal experience that as long as there's a one-by-one one square with a door, it counts as a home. Ah. Uh. So, like, for instance, I now have four houses on this side. And then I can probably do the same on the other side. I just have to... Uh, I see. And if we do this right, we may be able to build doors up in the middle of the air that also counts as ho count as homes. Mm. Cause yeah, the next level is two blocks high. So if we add a floor here, and then a next level up there, and, and you crash yeah. out the game. Ah, uh, <clears throat> hooray, it's a good day for the internet, ain't it? Well, better than when we were working on stuff before. True. Alright, so let me... Do, 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 do. Blah. Each one of these has to be an individual house, so... Uh... Oh yeah, you need the doors, don't you? Yeah, I'm just, uh... Well, right now what I'm doing is I'm laying a framework. That way you'll be able to shove doors on it at a later point. Well, I'll I punch just... my microphone. Yeah, that's good. What I'm... I tossed the doors out somewhere. I'm not sure where they landed, though. Oh, well. I don't know. So, that's not necessarily a great thing. Well, you can probably try to find them. Uh, they're right over there. I'll grab them in a second. Alright, so there, and doors. Out. Just explode my knees. Alright, that's not... Well, actually, that would probably work. I'll build a room around that in a minute. Uh, dirt. Dirt works best. Eh. 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 Damn it, no. Alright, well... But, um... Uh, so I'm having one of those things where everyone is now telling me and insisting, in spite of the fact that I tell them I don't watch a lot of television anymore, that I need to watch that show Rick and Morty. I'm told it's very good, and I've seen clips of it that lead me to believe I would probably like it, mm -hmm. but then there's that immediate instinct of people are telling me to do something, so no. Right. Yeah, because... Apparently, I am slowly turning into, uh, Angel. That, <laughs> and... So, yeah, I'm at one of those, you need to see this, you need to see this. I'm like, I'm never gonna see it now, you've just convinced me. You know, there's probably room no. for you to put a door in the middle. Probably, but I think that it needs to be one door and then one block behind it, and I think if I do that, it'll intersect two other rooms. Let me go up here. Ow. Meh. Alright, let me... I might as well take down the stairs for now. If we... I think we have all the villagers we really, really need. 
We have all the villagers there are, so... Y yeah. Right, also, it's so. going to be nighttime, and I'm proposing that we go and sleep instead of, you know, fighting out the night. Fight out the night. Do, 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 do. I will be right there. I'm just finishing up this door stuff. Uh, out. Turn down for what? Do, 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 do. No. I have, um, one of my favorite troll hobbies is to... Pick a song someone likes and then sing the exact wrong lyrics to it. <laughs> like, as so far wrong as I can ever possibly get, but, you know, that actually matches mm -hmm. in some way. Alright, let's sleep. Hopefully this functions functionally. Hopefully. I think the spawn cycle for Iron Golem takes about seven minutes. I think it does. I mean, I still need to find more spaces for doors, but I think I can cram some on top. There's five on this side, or ten on that side, and I didn't put any doors up on this side for some reason. Is that... No, that's not the room. Or that might be the room. Let me climb up there and find out. Because I may have just walled it off like a big old smart. Yes, I may have done that. Let me find out. Okay, that's the villagers up there. Yeah, I, I didn't do anything intelligently here. Um, okay, well, I can't really do anything about that, I don't think. Because that'll put villagers into a small... Room. All right. So yeah, that this side is actually unusable. Well, just because of the way everything is formed, it's unusable. So options, options. Who's got the options? Just put it over here. Where? Over over here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's as close yeah. as we can get. That or the. Right, so um, shop over there the shop ruins let me see do i have yeah i got plenty of this shit so uh time to one two uh so let me do the smart thing since when uh occasionally i'm required to by law uh all right so next i need to figure out what the largest face is. Which will probably be this side I'm headed to right now, yeah. So then... Do we have any... Well, I've got a little more cobble on me. Right, so, yeah, that's something that's... in the short supply since we're only getting it from taking buildings down. Yeah. Alright, so... Ah, um... creeper! Let's bring it towards the things we're building. That works. Alright, so I... Uh, well, we probably got some more cobble now. A little. Alright, All right, so I'm actually probably going to have enough after I'm done. Uh, Alright, so. That's one, two, three, four. So... I need to get back up there, don't I? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. So, dirt. No, no, wait, not dirt. Cobble. Uh, uh. Uh, well, thankfully I realize I've run out of... Ah, good, you're collecting cobble. Seems like the thing to do. Chest. So the other thing we're going to really have to do is tear down a lot of uh, a lot of stuff so that we can actually see the golems if and when they spawn. Mm. Well, they should. I would think they should spawn in proximity to the uh, valid houses. Villagers. I think they spawn in proximity to the valid houses or the villagers, which are all in one place together. So I don't really think there's a problem. 
and say, well, if they spawn in relation to the valid houses, then they'll be spawning over here somewhere. Well, and probably in between our set of row homes, most likely. Alright, I have used every door we had. That should have been 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 12... 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21... Might not be a bad idea to put a few extra up just in case later, if we find any more doors. But hey, this is I mean, I could have got more doors, I just stopped when I got the number we needed. Yeah, honestly, and there's no reason to keep grabbing them. But if we find out that it's not working, we can always get more doors at mm -hmm. a later point. In the land of Mordor. Ah, it reminds me of an old, um story which you know is about a russian guy who comes to america and he's like you know i heard these people talking about plotting a murder in a park here you know your country is so violent blah 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 you know he's like okay well what are they talking about he's like well they're, they're gonna signal the murder with bells and you know blah 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 and so i'm like wait um did they say murder or mordor I'm like yeah they said mordor you know killing someone Three rings for the elven kings under the sky? Yeah, that! Like, no, it wasn't murder. <laughs> they, were they were reciting Lord of the Rings. Uh, Alright, so we've uh, at least accomplished... If nothing else, we have created a hellish utopia... <laughs> Or dystopia for the villagers here. I mean, it's a utopia I mean, a for us because the villagers are all contained. We don't gotta deal with them. Yeah, I mean, that is true. Honestly, for us, this is an ideal situation. For them, we're kind of monsters, but then again, it doesn't matter, because they're not really people. Ah. Uh. See, some people might hate people of a various race or ethnicity. I hate NPCs. Mm-hmm. So, another story. Angel decided to start <laughs> up a... Small D and D campaign for the weekend with our friend um, Ron, and it's basically, as far as I can still tell, started just so that you know she can watch me do ridiculous things because I do ridiculous things in any D and D campaign I'm in, mm -hmm. and apparently it's worth watching just for the. Um, just for the entertainment value, and, you know, she wanted to do that. So, we have, you know, the character I'm playing is a race that literally automatically reincarnates when they die. Okay. So they just uh, pop up somewhere else, full memories, well, muddled memories of their past life. It essentially works like a Time Lord, you know, from Doctor Who. Uh-huh. And uh, then we have our friend Ron's character, who is a Gripply, which is a two-foot-tall frog. I am a giant blue person with silver hair and silver eyeballs. He is a little frog, and I decided my character is convinced that they are siblings. <laughs> it's just his, your memories get more muddled every time you reincarnate, so I'm just assuming that my character died so many times in a row that he decided they were siblings. Yeah. And that's his, you know, that's it. And apparently the first uh, time we sat down and played, Angel, who does have asthma, almost had several asthma attacks from the repeated, uh, I want to eat that baby from my friend's character, because we found a baby. As you do. And, and uh, we're swamp people, and if you find something, it's yours. And I'm like... You know, we're from a swamp, and I'm like, no, no, you can't eat babies, it's wrong. And he's like, well, no one wanted it, they threw it away, it's a perfectly good baby, and they wasted it. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, well, we shouldn't be wasteful and eat it. How is eating it wasteful?